Yes, he anyway, y'all. Don't go over there by him. He over there in the parking lot. Uh oh. Right across the stage. That's Damn. crazy. What are you asking for the skateboard? Uh, give me two dollars for it. Two dollars? Yeah. I got ten dollars for my monkeys. All right, so we are at the flea market today. It's another Saturday at the flea market. We've been out here dozens of times. However, I've never seen this many vendors out here. I mean, Haley, you can point the camera over there. I don't know if people can actually you see. You can't but see. There are a ton of people out here. I'm super excited. I was so excited when we got out the car. I didn't even turn the car off. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I should probably do that. So stick around. This should be a pretty good video today. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Fine. How y'all doing? Doing well. So nice. What are you asking for these? $10. Could you do eight? I need to get 10 out of them. I understand. I just had to ask. Death, ain't no harm in that. Ain't no harm. All you can say is no, right? That's right. That's right. I'll give you 10. Let's see. Okay. Six, seven, eight, ten. Thank you. You need a bag? No, man. We'll throw them in ours right here. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. These Nike shoes have actually already sold for $35 plus shipping. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, we're left with about $21 in profit. Well, the reason yeah. I picked them up is because they stashed them in the basement. So you told me the basement's already good. Yeah, it's good, except... What are you asking for these uh, Babe Ruth ones? Uh... I'm looking for a dollar a piece, but I'll take a price on the bundle if you're looking for the bundle. Pretty cool. Like, I think there's maybe a hundred there. Yeah. I'd take ten bucks in a whole bit. Ten bucks for all of them. So 15 years ago, that's what I had from 15 years ago. I used to get, I used to sell them to uh, guys who did mall shows and things like that. Put yeah. ten bucks on them. Yeah, yeah, I mean... And I was like, okay, well, you do what you want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about nine? So I feel like I got a good deal. Got a good deal, man. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you it. Wire, uh, for that I think we'll just throw them here as long right. as they don't get too bent up. Good. Man, good. be good. I appreciate it. Good, Thank you. So I think these Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig poster prints is going to be one of the most profitable items we've ever found at the flea market. We paid $9 for a hundred of these. I've already got them listed on eBay and we've already sold one for $9.99 free shipping. Now about half of that is going to go to shipping fees and shipping supplies where you have to use these uh, poster boxes to send them in. So we're going to make about $5 in profit on each one of these, but that means we only have to sell two out of the hundred to get all of our money back. And then the other 98 are going to be straight profit at $5 each. So that we should, in theory, make about $490 in profit on this poster haul. Now let's say I'm half wrong. Say say we only make $2.50 or we only sell half of them. That's still about $250 in profit on these posters. So yeah, they'll probably take a long time to sell and I don't expect, uh, I expect to be seeing these in our, in our inventory system in the garage for a long, long time before we sell out. But for $9 for 100 of them, I can't, I can't say no to that. Oh, video games, John. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite game. The only one I ever finished. The only one you ever finished. No, Bye. I finished that one and, um... Is that a Wii Sports right Mario. Here? The Mario. Is this yours? Yes, sir. How much are you asking for your games? That one, I take 10. 10? Dead Space. That's a scary game. Yeah. Huh? The dead. I was just telling. Oh, yeah, dead yeah, space. Yeah. I couldn't play it, man. It's too scary. So about like that Resident Evil. Yeah, I don't. I like having fun when I'm playing video games, not yeah, getting scared. I, I can't go to sleep at night. I know exactly. I played a Resident Evil one night. Mm -hmm. Made the mistake. I had got down to the graveyard. I tried to find a shotgun shell. <laughs> I had to go back upstairs. That's something that they came back to life. <laughs> Running at me crazy. I stopped playing it from that point. That's right. That's right. Too scary. I ain't got time for that. All right, we appreciate it, man. Didn't bring any action figures out today? No, no. These no, posters are cool. On Wednesdays I have figures. But yeah. yeah. How much are you asking for the posters? And I don't have any room in there. I wanted uh, twenty dollars a piece, but I take forty dollars for all of them, man. I just got no room anymore in my mind. I said, you better not bring those back. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They look like reprints because oh, they're so. I mean, I'm not gonna. Yeah. They're not gonna be ten dollars a piece. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Not. That's probably what I. Do. That's ten bucks, nineteen sixty-six. Yeah. And Legos, they're, they're two dollars a pack. They're like five dollars in the store. Okay. I'm trying to sell the whole thing. 
Thank you, sir. So, what are you asking for that? One gig. Ten bucks. Yeah, well, it works. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's just one gig, though. Did you do five? I'll give you five for it. Got to go find it. You don't have the charger for it, do you? Oh, you do. Look at there. I'll give you six then. How about that? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I bet. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Thanks. I think it's an ice bucket because it's got penguins on the side. Mm -hmm. West Bend penguin. That's pretty cool. How much are you asking for this, sir? 15. That's a pink pigeon. I mean, penguin. Yeah, it's an ice ice holder, right? Yep. That's, that's pretty cool. Could you do 10 on it? Yeah, I'll do 10. I, got it. I appreciate that. There you go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I don't. I don't mind paying up for stuff. You know, I'll pay as much as we can. But I don't. I don't know how much that's worth. I just think that's cool. I try not to look up stuff if I'm negotiating. If I'm paying up, then I'll look it up. But if I'm going to negotiate, I'm just going to take a chance. On it. Are your games a set price, sir? How much? Three dollars. Yeah. Just rock bands. Let's make sure that's right. Rock band for we. Yeah, that's good. Could you do five if I got two games? Yeah. Okay. Five. We'll just throw them in our bag. I the appreciate you. Has come to the table with the little body cam on. Oh, the second. I'm usually the I'm usually the only one. Yeah, it's it's pointed down. We just get the transactions. Mm -hmm. I try not to show anybody's face on there. Yeah, yeah, with all due respect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Jeez, this evening. Really? Or Monday. Or if I can get on to them before I can leave here. My partner's got those. I like the weight. Consolidated Bottom. skateboards. Feel a little heavy. Yeah. Strabino wheels, independent trucks. What are you asking for the skateboard? Uh, give me two dollars for it. Two dollars? Yeah. Golly, man, you might as well give it away for free. Yeah, I think. Just for a kid, uh, I can still ride that thing. It I'll not. give you three dollars for it. How about that? All right, appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. You want to carry that? Or you can take some stuff out of my bag. It's just getting heavy. Yeah, my wife is hollering at me. I'm up here on the thing. You're going to hurt yourself. Break an arm. Yeah, she's like, no heel. I absolutely love finding high quality used skateboards in the wild because I used to skateboard when I was like 15 or 16 years old and the brands that were popular back then are still popular today. We've got Independent Trucks, which is a very solid brand of skateboard trucks. We could take these off and probably get about 30 bucks or so just for these. The wheels are Strubing, S-T-R-U-B-I-N-G. Never heard of those, but they are obviously high quality. If you ever find a skateboard and you want to know if it's a high quality board or not, the easiest way to tell, in my opinion, is just to grab the wheel like this and spin it. And if it spins really, really fast and smooth like that for a long period of time, that's generally a pretty good sign that the bearings in the inside the wheel are, are good. And that means that the whole board overall is probably good as well. If you have a skateboard that you get from Walmart or Target or something like that, and you try to spin the wheel like that, it may spin for two or three seconds and then stop. So you should probably take some time to learn good brands and stuff like this. This consolidated skateboard deck alone, I'm not sure how much it's worth. I can't find the exact comp, but there are other ones that in similar shape and style that are selling for hundreds of dollars. So I think I'm going to take this stuff apart, sell the independent trucks by themselves, maybe include the wheels and bearings with that. Like this is a set and then sell the deck separately. Um, but we paid $3 for this. I think we can get maybe like 40 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks for the set of trucks with the wheels and maybe 50 to 100 bucks for the skateboard deck itself. So definitely be on the lookout for these. Again, do the wheel spin test to see if it spins smoothly and freely like that. And if so, it's probably worth picking up. Oh, well, this is cool. One of the P.O. box things. Yeah, I don't know what the combo, you got to take that plate off to do the combo. Yeah. But, uh, Let's stop for a second. Buddy of mine gave me that. Yeah. 
Those are TJ uh, Jeep surrounds. Okay. So you put them up by your door when you put your soft top on. Okay. Because you can't get a soft top without those. Is it TJ or CJ? Yeah, CJ. CJ. Tell you what, man, I might have to buy this from you. I just shut the door on accident. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, dude. I can open it back up with a screwdriver. Okay. It's pretty easy. I thought I'd broke it. No, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it down before I break it I even further. <laughs> you interested in any of these clubs? Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Is this your table too? Yeah. What's that one? It's probably a rescue. Yeah, M6. Yeah, for sure. You play golf? Yeah, play about three times a week. That's, now that I'm retired. that's awesome, yeah. What is this one? I play at uh, Big Carolina. What are you asking for the clubs? Uh, 20 a piece. Now the pain, you have that for three. Yeah. The old thing right yeah. there. What you asking for that? I'll take a dollar for it. For the whole thing. Ping I-53. I wish that one had a head cover. That's an old putter. It, it yeah. Great. Yeah. Ping I. I tell you what, man. Since you gave me such a good deal on the skateboard, I'll do I'll do sixty for for all of them. Is that right? Twenty, forty, sixty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at these golf clubs here, just to give you guys an idea of the potential profit here, which is pretty substantial. He kind of threw in this Ping Zing eight iron red dot. It's an older model, which is probably why he thought it wasn't worth much. But there's one sold comp on eBay for this exact club for forty four dollars plus shipping. It may take a while to sell. Uh, but we'll just get it listed and let it sit on the golf club shelf and it I don't know, three months from now, we'll make about $40 plus shipping on that. Next up, we have this putter. This is a Ping I-53 blade style putter. Pretty old, maybe from the, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't even want to say. It could be 60s, could be 80s, could be 90s, I don't know. It's just old. Uh, it's not a modern putter, but it's a pretty good uh, style of putter, pretty desirable. This one I thought was going to sell for maybe... I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks, but I was pretty surprised to see some sold comps on eBay for about 50 to 60. So we've actually already listed this. I believe we have it listed for like $55 or so. I don't know, put it on the screen here, uh, but that's definitely a, a good find there. This one putter should almost pay for all four clubs we picked up today. And the other two that we're about to, sh to show you guys are definitely the most valuable. This next club is the TaylorMade Rescue M2 4 Hybrid. You can see that the two uh, in the M2 is yellow, uh, and there's a 2016 and a 2017 model of this club. The 2017 is more lime green in, in the two, uh, and this is the 2016, which is more yellow. Even though it's a 2016, a little bit older, we're still going to be able to get about 100 bucks plus shipping for this. And the fourth and final club we picked up for that guy, this is the TaylorMade M6 Rescue 3 Hybrid Club. That's what it looks like there. This club is very nice, a little bit more modern, maybe from 2000, it's either 2018 or 2019, I don't remember, uh, but a very, very nice club. This one should sell for about $120 plus shipping. There we go. This will make people social distance. Stay back. <laughs> Let's see if we got any cool shoes today. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, they're so expensive. I don't want to spend all of our money. Oh, nice. Two years of this. Back to back. These are fake. Carbon fiber is painted. Hey, how are you? What are the hookahs? Seventy for each. They do look good. Did you do 60 for both? Okay. $60. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm. I'll just put it here. Thank you. So we paid $30 each for both of these pairs of Hoka's. They were in like new condition. This pair right here is already sold for $74.99 free shipping. After shipping fees and the $30 cost of goods, we still made $25.61 and we still have the other pair listed for $79.99 free shipping. I'm really proud of myself for knowing that those Jordans were fake. Some Gary V high tops over here. Men's size nine. Man, if these were my size, I would definitely buy them. 100. They're Gary V shoes. He, he did a deal with, with K Swiss. Oh, I still get it. How much are these? 45. 45? I can't.
can't do 45. If they were my size, I'd do it. But I think retail, they're like 110, 120 bucks or so. They are brand new though. Some more Jordans over here. In size 10. Tag looks good. Overall quality looks good. They're used, a little used, which is a good sign. I don't see the owner though. We've got, um, oh, those are different. Those are like hiking boots. We haven't sold the last three pairs of Danners that we've got yet, but we, they are listed really high. These are in pretty good shape though. People will start hiking soon too. I don't know where the lady is or the guy, the person. I'd be interested in these at the right price, but yeah. we can come back. I'll get some Harley Davidson boots. They're very small though. Boys, boys six and a half. Look at these Converse back here. Those are awesome. How much are these? These 20. 20? Yes. I think those are really cool. Men's seven, women's nine. I'll do 20 for this. No, it's okay, we got it. Thank you so much. What about those down there? Yeah, 30? Okay. Thank you. These Converse shoes were in super nice condition and a really unique floral colorway as well, which is why I think they've already sold for $42 plus shipping. After fees and cost of goods, we're left with $16.75 in profit. For me? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a YouTube star. <laughs> you're very nice. And what was that? You don't have to give it to me. I was just looking at it. What was that? Yeah, I saw the bottom. It's... Stangle stoneware, hand. I'm scared to ship it. I'll give you. I'll give you five dollars for it. How about that? <laughs> I'll fill. You already gave me the, the some free stuff last time. One, yeah, two, like three. It. Do you need it at play? I give you free. I don't need it. I don't need it. We got to carry all this stuff around. There you go. Well, you can leave it here. You can come. Car bring. Here, it's okay. This is hey, good. I try to be good mama to you. That's, that's right, you are, you are. Hey, that's crystal. Crystal, yeah. yeah. We don't do a lot of glass. It's just, it's too much to ship for us. You can't have that. I give it to you. <laughs> just trying to give away everything today. You want it? You need it? I give it to you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need it. What about this? <laughs> I, I appreciate it. We, we don't... Yeah, put it back in your bag. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. We, we don't need it. I don't want to take anything else from you. You're too nice. Too nice. Hey, I can take it with it anyway. <laughs> you buy a that's, you that's right. U-Hauls, there. there's no hearse with a U-Haul in the back. That's right. That's right. Take it with the demo. I don't need it. Oh, that's, that's all I'm taking from you today. We appreciate it, though. <laughs> Thank you. Puppies. Oh, look at the little pigs. <laughs> hey, guys. That's pretty much everything. We'll walk back down the first row to see if anybody else put anything else out. And then, uh, yeah, see if Zoe's here. See if Haley can find something. You gotta be more aggressive. Remember, elbow to the jaw. It's ten dollars, and I'm quite firm on that. Well, it's clean as shit up under the hood, bro. Yeah. It's good. Cranks up and everything. Like look. Yeah, it cranks up. Got lights and everything. Two thousand five. Worth ten dollars. Clean up under the hood, got brand new batteries. Oh, He's nasty yeah, anyway, y'all. Don't go over there by him because he was peeing over there in 
parking lot. Uh oh. Right across from the table. That's now. crazy. <laughs> How much are your. She got slapped with a piece of bread, man. She got slapped out of another week. Well, how much is your gorilla? 10 for the bear. I can do that. You got a $10 bill on you? Hey, right, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I do. What's up? Uh, when you get it, man. Andy, you're fine. You don't want to roll your window? Yeah. No. I trust people. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'll leave it here. Just hold it in the bag and don't let anybody else buy it. We'll try to... I want to buy mess with it. Jim. Appreciate it. Thank you, Yeah. I'll go down this outside road. Try to find something for 10 bucks. There's the outside road here. I don't think I do. Let's see. How much are these? I can do both on five. Okay. If we do these for five, do you have change for a 20? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Do you want a little bag? No, we, we've got our own. Okay. Thank you. To be completely honest with you guys, I did not have high hopes for that Sansa MP3 player we just picked up. Honestly, I was just trying to find something to buy that I could at least break even on just so I could get change to go pay for the King Kong action figures that we just picked up. But luckily, once we got home and I looked up soul comps on that 512 megabit MP3 player, found out it was selling for like 40 bucks. So we took some pictures, got it listed, and it has already sold, I believe, for $39.99 free shipping. Super fast sale there. It sold in like four hours or so. The other game we got, the Einstein game, is not really worth much, like 15 bucks free shipping. But spending five bucks on those two things just to get changed, that turned out better than I expected. Now we have our change. Let's go get our monkeys and get the heck out of here. Oh, what's up, man? All right, all right. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. All right. I got $10 for my monkeys. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. You too. Not a bad day at the flea market. We got so much junks in here. Oh, we'll fall out there. Not a bad day. We are back to our normal breakfast routine. So I was just telling you guys at the flea market that we had those three pairs of Dander boots that we bought at the flea market recently and haven't sold them yet. And literally like right as we were getting in the car at the flea market, we sold one of the black bears we got. What do we, I think we paid like, I don't even remember, like 30 bucks, 25? I think we got two of these for 50, but uh, they sold to a viewer. The, their YouTube, our uh, eBay name is Mrs. Empty Nest. Uh, and they said, thanks Harry, love you on YouTube. Excited to try these boots out, best wishes. So thanks a lot for the support. These sold for 75 bucks plus shipping. So I'm pretty sure we paid 25 bucks for these, so we should profit, I don't know, like 40 bucks or so after fees. And that is gonna do it for today's video, folks. I absolutely love making these flea market videos, getting all the interactions on camera, whether they be positive or negative, or absolutely crazy. It's just fun going through all the footage and editing it all into a piece of content that hopefully you guys enjoy watching and maybe learn something from as well. If you have enjoyed today's video, all I ask is that you take a couple seconds and hit that like button for us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.